Hey, it's Dougie Wood, and in this video, I'm gonna show you my step-by-step -step process of how I designed and built this homepage for the Salvation Army. Now, this actually follows my full process from design to build, and it's gonna be a speed run. And this is a different type of content than what I usually produce, so I'd love to get your feedback in the comments below, any thoughts you have um, during the video. Also, if you've not yet subscribed, please do so as it's a free way to say thank you to me and I really do appreciate it. So let's dive in and take a look. Okay, so we start off with a little bit of research first. By that I mean I go onto the website of the um, organization that I'm building a SharePoint design for and I'm looking for some core things. So things like the primary colors that they're using, the background color of the website, and also a bit of a design, a bit of a feel for how it's going to look. Now, I've noticed a few different things. Um, like, for example, they're using a lot of these kind of layers um, um, there for, for different types of content, like Harley's story, um, that kind of layout of kind of having an image and some text on one side or the other. That's something that we can reproduce inside of SharePoint, as I do like to try and get the look and feel to match quite closely to the public website. So that is different, but it is actually quite familiar as well. Um, also, what I'm doing is I'm going in, I'm just looking for images that I can use. Um, I'm also writing out here things that I could potentially use these images for. I'm also asking Copilot what potentially are some common links that some sort of an organization like Salvation Army would want to have on their internet, things like IT support, finance information, things like that. And then I'm also going onto their, their website to get things like their logo and other imagery, which is gonna match some of these navigational links. And now building out my SharePoint site, so I'm gonna start with a completely blank SharePoint uh, site template. And then I'm gonna to get to work on actually um, designing this. Now that my very first thought was I wanted to reproduce um, some of those kind of look and feel that was on that public website, which were those kind of tiles that I was saying before. So I've got some ideas about how I could use those tiles and I put them into my notepad and I'm just putting stars next to them just to kind of figure out what it is that I'm going to put next to them. Then I'm asking Copilot to draft a little bit of text um, that I could use for the title and the description that's going to go into the layers of this particular uh, web part. Now, this web part will act as a navigational web part that would probably, um, in real life, link off to things like other SharePoint pages with more information, or, for example, this Salvation Army Mission Manager, which is likely a third-party tool um, that can be linked to and, does, and, and, and say pointed off to. Um, then, um, as I say, I'm filling out some content, putting some title and description. And this is all just stuff that Copilot's provided me. Now, actually, in times gone by, one of the longest parts of actually building out a mock-up of a SharePoint intranet homepage for someone is actually the content, putting content in there. Because you could just put lorem ipsum in there, some blank text and some images which look kind of like the organization. But I tend to find if you can get the images from their website, um, and as long as they're not overly used, then it will feel familiar, but not necessarily overly kind of copying the website. Obviously, those images would likely be swapped out when we come to do any form of production release of a SharePoint internet homepage. But also, Copilot is fantastic for coming up with ideas of what an organization would likely have on their homepage. So that helps give me some text, some title, um, without me having to come up with it off the top of my head. I'm also using the Microsoft Stock Image Library to kind of fill out some of the gaps. So some of the imagery that I got from their website um, wasn't the best quality. They were quite small, low-res images, and they don't fit this kind of nice, kind of big layered option inside of this hero tile. So I am using the Stock Image Library that um, Microsoft SharePoint provides because there's loads, hundreds, if not thousands of different images which are all royalty-free, free to use, um, and it's a fantastic way that we can get images onto the page. So these might not necessarily be 100% um, the, the kind of brand um, of, of the organization. So I am trying to loop in here where possible um, the different images. Also, I found, and I think I'll come on to this slightly later, uh, that the, the images were slightly odd file formats and things like that. So I was using um, a third-party product to try and change the um the the, the the format of the image essentially to try and fit them onto the page um 
So there we go, so we've got some images in here. So as I say, it's not fully kind of on brand. I'm using a third party tool here um, just to try and change the format of, of the images so they'd fit onto the page just a little bit better. Um, we've got some nice images there, both a mixture of uh, from the SharePoint site and also from the Salvation Army public website as well. So now I've got that kind of layout, I'm quite happy with that. I'm gonna start looking at other aspects of the page. Now, I imagine at this point that these images um, in that Hero Tile web, web page um, isn't going to be the main top header of the page. That will just look weird. Um, most intranets are a combination of navigational items like those Hero Tiles um, in a layered format and communication. So we're starting to build out a news feed. We're thinking about the different types of news that would potentially have on our intranet. And in fact, actually, um, I do go back to Copilot to ask for categories of news articles that potentially would be used on Salvation Army's homepage. And then thinking about what the top area of the internet would look like, and I remembered from the homepage of the Salvation Army website that they used a image across the top um, of, of their, their website. Um, and it, because I'm building this around Christmas time, it was a great, quite Christmassy kind of image that was across the top. Um, so I, I've actually put that across the top as well. And I'll come back and format that later. I'm also thinking about the quick links, um, so adding some links onto the page. I have asked, again, uh, Copilot, what are the types of things would most likely be used? So things like people directory, finance tools, the risk management tools, um, and an organizational chart of the organization, organization as well. It's worth noting as well that I'm using here the Microsoft stock icons in their stock icon library. I would always advocate that you go and check those out first before you try and upload your own. You can upload your own if you wanted to, if you want to get that extra brand look and feel. But I like to use the Microsoft stock ones because um, they all look very consistent. And there's hundreds, if not thousands of different icons that you could possibly choose from. So there's plenty of different options. Now, this is where I'm playing around with some concepts of ideas of news and quite often um, with organizations like the Salvation Army, they would probably expect to have different types of news um, displayed on their homepage, not just one news for everybody. So I'm thinking about potentially there'll be some latest news that everybody would be interested in. Then there'd be maybe some news from the vol volunteering section of the Salvation Army. So what kind of projects are they working on? Uh, what type of initiatives, social initiatives that they're working on? Um, and then I thought about actually the power of three, so actually having three columns, and maybe we're going to have things like all news for everybody on the furthest left-hand side. Then we might have volunteer news, I say, which is specific just for um, volunteer type of action. And then we've got regional news. So depending on where you are in the world, um, it will then show um, news articles to you based on where you are working. So. Uh, being based in the UK, maybe I'm affiliated to the London office, so it's only going to show me regional news from the London office. So having a quick glance now at what the homepage looks like, it's starting to come together quite nicely, um, but we're going to focus on some of the content at the bottom of the page. Now, I love this call to action web part because you can specify a bit of text, but you can also specify a button on it as well, and we can also um, enter our own images into the background as well. Now, I think actually this looks quite nice as um, uh, two columns. So I'm going to have two call to actions at the bottom here. So maybe a bit more information about learning about the, the kind of mission. Uh, maybe it's about referring volunteers, things like that. So we could upload our images there and we could have those linking off to anything we like that might be more SharePoint pages or a third party app or website as well. Now, I'm just going to fill out this events web part a little bit more. And again, um, just like with news articles, we can specify a background image, um, but also just like an event inside of Outlook, we can specify when it is, so a date and a time. We can also specify where it is, and by entering a location, it will also bring up a little Bing map as well. We can specify a link, so if it was um, more information, or maybe it's a virtual event, like a Teams meeting, we can provide a link to it in there. And we can also provide a bit of description about that event and even event participants um, so we can tag people against them. The other cool thing that I love about the events web part is that the users themselves can add these uh, calendar entries into their own calendar as well. So if there was, say, for example, a Christmas party that was coming up, they could choose to click the add to my calendar button 
and that will be added into our calendar as a nice reminder um, of that event that's coming up. So now we've got plenty of content in there. Um, the page is starting to come together. Um, let's look at how we can then format the top header section. So I'm playing around a little bit with how the header looks. And I think it looks quite nice actually to have um, the sort of the title Salvation Army there and then the site navigation underneath it. I'm building out what I think would be potentially the most likely um, navigational links. So things like our mission, our resources, our faith, our offices. Um, and I quite like this concept. It's a bit a bit of a fad um, to a certain extent, but this kind of our mission, our resources, our faith, having the word our before it kind of helps with that employee engagement to feel like they're part of this, that this tool is for them, that it's, that it's all inclusive. Now I'm building out a little bit of what I refer to as a mega menu, which is where you've got multiple layers to this. And because there's offices based in the UK, but there's also offices based in the US, um, so I'm led to believe from Copilot telling me this. Um, and, and just to speed things up, I've just put region one, two, and three. Um, to just to show you what the mega menu looks like. So by adding these links, you'll notice once I click on save, there'll be like a little arrow that drops down next to our offices. So you can see those different um, so UK and US. And then under our mission, we've got our values uh, and our leadership. So maybe these are linking off to SharePoint pages that give more information on values and leadership teams. Maybe it's linking out to org charts and things like that. Maybe linking to some other useful resources like brand materials, templates, forms, leaflets, things that people are most likely going to want to quickly get access to. Also some human resources links, so things like booking holiday or submitting expense requests and things like that. We can also upload the logo that we have also lifted from the public website and just now played around with the header um, with a little bit of a grey background just to offset it, just so it's clear that that is the header area of the SharePoint intranet. And also as you scroll down the intranet, that header will also stay there. Now I'm going to build out the colour palette. Um, and if you remember that I was taking the colours from the public website, so I'm using that kind of red as a kind of primary colour. The text colour is a kind of darker kind of black grayish colour. And then we've got the background colour, which is an off-white. It's not true white. It is a slightly off-white, light grayish colour. Um, and then I'm giving it a name, so Salvation Army. That's what the colour palette is going to look like. By selecting it, it's then applied it to um, my SharePoint site. I can go in and then select it um, from the color palette tool. And now that's applied it. So it's now applied that kind of red. It's applied that red kind of filter. I'm just playing around with the focal point of um, the internet page um, of that image, just so it sits better on the page. I'm also updating the sections of the, the page as well um, so that it's got different colors. And this is the final result.